Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing uh, the TrackMan against the uh, Atlas unit. Um, I already did a review on the Mevo and the TrackMan. If you want to see that, make sure to check out the link. I'm going to select a 9 iron. Okay, I did select the 9 iron on the TrackMan as well. So, just going to take a few shots. Okay. Little high. It says 118, the Atlas versus 107, the um, Trackman. Okay. Not bad. The wind is always in my face. 115 versus 104. So. I'm seeing the same um, issues that I uh, had with Mevo. Uh, it's a little more generous, the um, the Atlas. So, and this doesn't give me everything, but um, I will have to convert the swing speed and ball speed. But the carry distance is it's a little more generous. 115 versus 104. Okay, so one thing I wanted to point out uh, is on the, the numbers that are there is a huge difference and the reason why is because uh, we took off the normalization on the trackman settings and so what happens there is, is that uh, because there was a lot of wind uh, trackman is gonna um, is gonna read the actual wind so if we were to put the normalization on trackman then it would have considered the wind it would have uh, actually would not consider the wind so it would have been more of a fair um, test I would say uh, because the Atlas, the Atlas does consider the wind by just initially, so just like the first, I would say, 10 meters, and uh, Trackman considers the wind all the way to the end, so that's why the numbers were, really, were a little off. But anyways, I just wanted to get the video because the, those who own Atlas, I think they were interested in, in seeing the results, the comparison. Okay, that's not the greatest swing and like I said I have the weight all over my face is 121 against 106 so there we have a, a bigger difference and one thing that I do have to mention is that on that one I felt I saw the ball caught in the wind so okay so now I will try it uh, I will try seven iron and see what it says I'll change it on this one and I'll also change it on this one. So far, the Atlas is a little more uh, generous than the Trackman. Okay. 141 versus 127. Right. 143 versus um, Trackman says 130. So a little bit to the right, not the best. 144 against 135. So yeah, it's not that bad, I would say. Um, it's a little more generous, just like the Mevo, but overall I think it's consistent in, you know, if it's a little more, then it's gonna be in line with the Trackman there. You can compare both units, obviously, but definitely not, not to be disappointed. Okay, that went to the right. It's a little bit of a push, 145 versus 130 so it's always going to be less on track man okay so that was just a few shots with us with a nine iron a seven iron with the atlas and the track man and i would say the atlas is a little more generous but overall it's not um i wouldn't say it's that bad um one thing though i would consider is that the the track man reached the ball from the beginning to the end so on a few shots i did see that uh, when the ball got caught up by the wind uh, it was far less on trackman than the on this unit so that's one thing to consider 
because it would also affect it the other way around if the wind was blowing that way track one would uh, give me more generous numbers than the uh, atlas so ideally i think the test would be better if it was it was no wind at all so anyway so hope you like the review overall it's pretty good i say it's not it's not that bad uh, if you take off just about 10 percent off uh, on your distance but again depending on the wind so you have to consider that so hope you like the review and uh, thanks for watching until next time